welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thanks for showing up for your singles reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Although personally, I think the Moon sign is going to resonate the best. So if you want to check out your Moon sign and you don't know what it is, there's a link below in this description box that'll help you ascertain that information. Um, so this is also for you if you're spying on a Capricorn. If you're interested in one, if you broke up with one, that kind of a thing. And we'll just get started. So how is Capricorn seeing themselves in the month of October in regards to love? For single Capricorns anyway. Um, so you're feeling like kind of hopeless. You're like emotionally, I'm not really manifesting anything. Like I'm not super balanced with that. But at least I'm cognizant. Like at least I know right? So how are others seeing you? Very single, but very sexy. Um, but they're kind of thinking like you're putting out this vibe that you're not looking for your forever person. Like if you're looking for anything at all, like you're not making that very clear. And, um, but they're like, wow, this Capricorn is super, super attractive, but they might not be t wanting to like talk to you. They might not be wanting to come up to you. They might be a little bit intimidated. And it's mostly because you have a vibe kind of like Pisces has where it's like people are interested, but they just think you're not interested. And therefore, um, it's all kind of avoided. So what should you be avoiding this month? Waiting and waiting and waiting to get your ducks in a row. Um, so you're probably of this mindset like, okay, well, if I get A, B, and C done, then that's going to free up more time for me to like be able to apply myself to finding love and this sort of a thing. And also, you know, if all of my ducks are in a row, I'm going to attract somebody at the same level who's got their shit together too. And that might be your mindset, but they're like, don't do that right now. Have like more of an open mind and faith and hope that anything is possible that you can draw something in. Um, because like, it's not, it's kind of not up to you, like when you're going to be ready or not, like there's divine timing, timing working behind the scenes to bring you something. And the sooner that you realize that and just like allow yourself to go with the flow, um, the sooner you're going to have all of these wonderful things show up for you. Now you have a number message that I want to look up for you here. And I know that it's about balance, but let's figure out what it says. And so it's saying, you know, the more that you believe and trust, the better that things are going to turn out for you and the sooner they're going to turn out for you. And so that's very much that energy of that fool card that we saw. Um, what should you be doing in order to increase or grow or attract the likelihood of love in the month of October. And they're like, well, there's not really that much that you have to do um, aside from finding maybe some enthusiasm to start looking. But ultimately, this period of waiting is your way of going with the flow. And there's not much you can do except for to like just shift your mindset so that you're putting out vibes that you are open to it. You know, be open to it, but you don't necessarily have to take any actions because everything's kind of working itself out. Now, um, what's working for you in the month of October? Um, so you defending yourself against bad matches, that's working. Like knowing what you don't want is working because by contrast, it kind of makes you know what you do want, right? Knowing your limitations. Um, also, not going out of your way to spend a lot of money on yourself um, while you're single. You're not like going overboard and things like that. It says like there's this complete, there's this cycle that's happening and it's not totally complete yet. Okay. Um, and you're almost through it. You're working through it. And it's a cycle regarding, you know, earth kind of matters and you're an earth sign. So you'd probably understand what I'm talking about, but it's like work, possessions, money, that sort of thing, getting those ducks in a row. You're not quite there yet. But when that does end, then love comes through because what I have here is like you're working on achieving this balance, right? But then all of a sudden it's like, boom, puppy love, like overflowing with love when you meet somebody and it'll be really happy, but you've got to be open to that. You can't be like pushing it away like that Wands guy, right? He's like, no, 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 I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. But when are you ever going to truly be ready? It's like when you have a kid, like you are never going to be prepared enough ever. So get, kind of get that out of your mind that you're not ready because you've got to be ready because it's going to show up really quick and it'll be amazing, but you have to be open to that showing up. Does that make sense? Okay. So what's working against you in the month of October? 
<laughs> that you're not willing to receive, lovey bugs. So you could um, look up on Google or not Google, YouTube, um, affirmations for receiving, like being open to receive that you could listen to while you're sleeping is one way to do it. Because they're like, when this shows up, it might not show up like, boom, you know, you watch this video and it shows up tomorrow. But they're like, when it comes, it comes fast. It's like overnight, like, boom, I'm in love. And you might be fighting it. You keep getting this energy of like fighting it, resisting it. What do you want to resist love for? Especially if you don't have it. Right? If it's going to be healthy love that adds to your life because that's what it looks like, then be open to receive it. Okay. So, uh, what are the lessons that we, oh wait, what's working against you in the month of October? Um, stuck in your way, stuck in routine. Like, it's almost like being married to this mindset or being married to, um, you know, like a routine. Okay. Um, and, and you know about that, or it could also be talking to people who are married. That wouldn't work very well. You might be fixated on, um, somebody who's already in a relationship, whether you know that they're in a relationship or not, that could be a problem because that's just not going to work out right for you. Okay. But you're treating yourself unfairly either way, whether you're talking to somebody like that or whether you are just like very stuck in this routine and like can't make time for somebody to enter your life, you're fucking yourself over. You really are. Okay. So what is the lesson that we are learning in the month of October in regards to love? Um, letting go of guilt. So you can work on your sacral chakra with this one, um, kind of like allow like an orange light to come in through there. And it says, I'm releasing any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth. And that's like that belief I was telling you where it's like, I need to prepare myself. I need to be ready. Like maybe there's certain goals you want to achieve so that you come off more attractive to other people. And they're like, no, 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 no. When it comes, be ready for it, okay? So any ideas or fears that you have about that kind of a stuff, let it let it go. About that kind of a stuff, about those kind of things, <laughs> let them go. Okay. So what is the overall outcome in the month of October for you in regards to love? They're like, you know what? Really feel your feelings. Feel your feelings about what it is that you want, what would make you feel really content in a love relationship because right now you're super attractive. You're really, really attractive. You're like radiating this sexiness that, um, it's not to say you don't always radiate it, but it's like really, really strong right now. People are like a magnet to you. Like physically, you're extra attractive to other people. And they're like, so if you can envision yourself as being stable and ready, then all of a sudden, things are going to start moving and shifting and changing for you. And you're just going to glow like this sexiness even more. They're like, you're never going to feel 100% ready for anything. Okay? So, like, it, in regards to, like, routine, money, finances, all of that earth stuff, like, when is enough enough? Like, you get a million dollars, you want $10 million. That's what it's saying. So... If you can just be like, you know what, this is good, this is time, I'm open to receive it, then you can definitely have it in the month of October. Now, I wanted to do like a little Halloween bonus and just see what your Halloween night's going to be like in regards to your love life. <laughs> oh, man. They're like, you know what, if you don't take these actions to stop pushing the opportunities for love away because you don't see how it's going to fit into your life, you're going to be sad on Halloween. You, on Halloween, it'll hurt you. You're going to go, oh, you know what? I'm a person here without a costume or without a cute little couple's costume. And now I'm sad about it. So be mindful that you need to be ready and willing to receive love. Okay, love and light. I hope that most of you open up and that you comment below all of the wonderful stuff that moves and shifts and changes for you. If you guys want to share... Um, information on how you've figured out how to be open to receive like different meditations that work that would be rad um because that's what we're all about a community of loving and helping one another and see you next month bye thanks so much for watching my video check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading follow on snapchat like on facebook